big male on the left, on the far left, and then, well, the rest of his clan, not clan, but whatever you'd like to call the pod, raft, and they look a little bit on the exhausted side <laughs> this morning. I think that they've had a long night of doing all sorts of wonderful things and as well as eating. <coughs> Good morning, Hippos. Thank you very much. It was very kind of you. Wasn't that perfect? I think that he said, he said, yeah, it was a busy night. And the girls have gone, we're asleep now. We're not going to communicate. And of course, a vocalization like that can mean a number of different things. I think because he's fairly relaxed, he's not really bothered by our presence at all. He hasn't turned his head once. I think he was just saying, good night world, we'll catch you again a little bit later, but it can also mean that any other male hippos in this area better watch out because this pan is occupied. But isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Now it's going to be a very hot day again today, sort of quite similar to the one that we had yesterday. So I'm sure it will get to sort of mid 70 degree Fahrenheit. So these hippo, I'm sure, uh, well, they're really just going to relax now. I don't think that they will get up to too much more. It looks like the two females on the right have already started the sleeping process, which is quite spectacular, that they're able to stay in the water and continuously go up and down, sort of without having to think about it. It just comes naturally. I don't think it's very deep anymore, though. We did see some elephants come through. But if I'm not mistaken, where the hippos are at the moment, there used to be a, a bank, like a, a little wall that separated. We used to have the kiddies pool on the left at Bifelzook Dam, and then we'd have the adult swimming pool on the right. You know how that is at resorts, how you always have a, a shallower children's pool and then the deeper adults pool. That's what it was like. But now with all the rain that we've had, there's no more separation. It is just one big dam. But I suspect that it's quite shallow there. And you can see how shallow it is just by the fact that we are seeing this hippopotamus is back at the moment. And I think that its feet, I think that this is a young bull, is just touching the ground. And he keeps his distance though, away from the male and the two girls. So perhaps he's reluctant to move out. Now, Rebecca N, you're asking how big are the males in comparison to the females? So the one we're looking at at the moment, he's not particularly big. He's, he's actually still quite small. So look at him. And then let's have a look at the big bull again on the left hand side because just straight away you can see how much larger his head is. So a big hippopotamus bull can weigh well over two tons and the girls I would say between one and a half and 1.8 tons somewhere around there. So basically they weigh the, the weight of a small car. I mean they're exceptionally heavy. If you've ever been privileged enough to see a hippo out of the water you'll know just how large they are. I've had many walking in front of my uh, game drive vehicles before and I kid you not they're almost the width of the vehicle and that's that's, that's pretty big and they're quite long too. I think it's about two and a half meters in length so not not small animals. They definitely uh, being in the water doesn't do them any justice to sort of show their beautiful size but it is lovely. There's mist on the water again and Senzo, we seem to have quite a bit of luck when it comes to mist on the water, don't we? Smoke on the water, should we say. So this is very, very cool. I love mornings like this, and this is why I love winter as well, is because it, it is, gets so chilly. These areas all fill up with this lovely fog, and it just makes for the most magnificent scene. 